Oh, I'm sad. Is now we're back to the real world. It's not cool. Best tour ever. Best tour that we've ever had in January. <laughs> it was a fucking blast. Uh, right up there with War Tour. War Tour was time of my fucking life, and this was time number two in my life. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I'd say this tour was the most like trying one emotionally and like physically, but also just the best one because it was great to tour with Chaser and we, we, we came in with a good attitude and really made the best of what, what we had. I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Hello, what's up? We're here in Richmond at Strange Matter, one of our favorite venues here in town. Uh, it's day one, uh, January 4th. It, I don't have a watch, so I can't check the time, but we're here with our good friends and Chaser, obviously, but then today's special, because who are we playing with, Alex? <laughs> President <laughs> Sam, <laughs> it's their tour kickoff as well, and that's fucking tight because we're actually being reunited with them in South Carolina, so we get two shows with them on this run, that's cool. And then our very special friends in House and Home, uh, they just released another single, but listen to it. Is, yeah, Afterthought, check that shit out, it's so good. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna try to do some guest vocals. I'm gonna try to get Alex to do some screams. And yell a little bit. Yeah. Make some loud noises. There, there are a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Mostly ups though. Here's one. It, it just like just starting out in the snow and like loading in 20 degree weather was not a good time. But then like we got to play the show in Richmond and like hometown shows always like show out for us and it was like it was a really good way to kick off the tour. So what happened? I don't wanna talk about it, Liz. Alright. Yeah, I can never find my like, first day of tour. It's not even <laughs> That's we, a sad thing. We haven't even got the goddamn house and she can't find his keys. We haven't even got the trailer yet. One, okay, hold on. Before you think I'm crazy, one time I let Sam borrow my car and I came home and, and I was waiting to go to New Jersey to go to my mom's house. I couldn't find my keys. I was like, Sam, what'd you do with them? He was like, throw in my bag. They weren't in his bag. I was like, what'd you do with them? He was like, throw on my desk. They weren't on his desk. Make him come back. He looks around. Can't find them. I'm like, an hour later than I wanted to leave. And I had like a five hour drive. And where were they? In the trash can. Never letting Sam borrow my shit again. You guys, I got one job. Huh? Use your find my iPhone thing. Or my keys? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have an iPhone. I was really excited to play uh, the Milestone. Uh, it's because we, uh, I went into that book us there actually the last time we ran down to um, Florida. It's a venue in North Carolina. It's called the Milestone Club. And um, here at here in Richmond, we have a place called Strange Matter and very similar vibes between those places. They both have like arcade cabinets, they're covered in like stickers and like graffiti and stuff. And uh, so that was really cool. Felt like a home away from home. I actually talked to their bartender um, about Strange Matter and they're like buddies with them. So like that was really, really rad. 20 years ago today, this kid came out. 20 years ago. Ugh. Full beard already on his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We had the pictures. <laughs> yeah, I was there, it was a terrible day. <laughs> terrible. It was the worst day of his life. It was raining. <laughs> Cursed since then. <laughs> Cursed since birth. Charlie's in the background just like... I was the cute one, see? We're on our way to uh, Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. To uh, play a show in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, playing at... Oh, what's it called? Fresh Brewed Fresh Coffee. Brewed. Coffee House. Yeah. Gonna Very see some excited. friends. We got President Sam rejoining us. It's a good time. Okay. I'm course, excited. The lovely Chaser is gonna be there. I'm wondering where they're at though. He thinks it's his birthday, he can be a little fucking deagle. He's fucking cut! <laughs> fucking cut! You're lucky! Hold me back! Hold me back, you Bella! Uh, you know what's down there. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bad boy! That's good. Bad boy! Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
Then you walk away. This is scary myself. Whoa! Whoa! Oh god. I guess I'm fucking wet. Every show we were at, we were running into kids that we had met on Warp Tour, um, and that was just crazy seeing people that we had met a year to two years ago, being like, "Yo, I checked you guys out and liked you, and decided to come see you play." And it just kind of made it all really worth it. We met a lot of cool people, um, did a lot of cool things. Every day to the show, that's another thing. I think I, as far as all of our, our little runs have gone, every day of the show was consistently like incredible um every day had like a good turnout every day the people we met there were super rad there wasn't any like like spot where we're like uh oh, it's nice gonna be lame every day we were equally stoked to get out there and, and rip a gig got the fucking flu on my birthday and that was that was a good time <laughs> and i miss a show and i was dying i spent like 50 dollars on pills Half of us were sick, including Liz, our amazing photographer, videographer. All like all of us had like the flu and were just miserable. One of the shows, Alex couldn't even physically play because he was so sick. What's up? Are you rolling? Hey, what's good? We're in Jacksonville. At Bug House, we're hanging out. A bunch of bugs in the freezer. It's t oh my god, that's where they got the knit. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. They like a bunch of cicadas and like dragonflies and stuff. They put some in um, acrylic. It looks like they're like stuck in amber, like fossils. I thought you were just making a joke. No, no <laughs> it's really, it's really I didn't realize that's why it was called Bug House. Yeah, you'd think it'd be warmer, but it's not. We're very excited to be here. It is warmer than. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely. It's, a more. it's not. There's no ice, dude. I've seen bear. zero ice. Not all ice. You right? might notice we're missing Alex right now. He's dead. We left him in South Carolina. No, that boy's a zombie. Right Xander now. died. Yeah, he's really sick. He's laying in the van trying to gather the strength to play this show. We'll get some B-roll later. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'm drinking tea to save my voice. He's beer to save mine. Yeah. These boys are partying hard. So, there's a very specific difference between a chicken doogie and a wingy doogie. Most restaurants have a variation of both. Like most, some people call it a chicken tender versus a chicken nugget. And a lot of chicken nuggets can qualify as a wingy dingy. A chicken doogie is a, uh, a chicken, generally a chicken nugget, but it's where there is no grain line. The meat has been ground into a chicken paste, if you will. That is a chicken doogie. Still, still very delicious. Kind of repulsive when you think about it, but good at the end of the day. Then you got yourself a wingy dingy. And that is chicken that has maintained the grain line. That is very important for the, uh, the uh, 
structural integrity. The structural integrity of the wing and dingy. Um, so like, yes, there can be some very high-end chicken nuggets where they, you know, they, they maintain the grain line. That is the that is the important difference between dingies and doogies. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thanks. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. It's a little wet, a little cloudy, but we don't let that hurt us. We have a uh, heroin for that. Lovely. Florida. Your hands? Round up. In this round we got Tony the Chef Scott and this Maddie the Mad Hatter. Let's do it. Hang on, there's one jam up here. I wonder how this is gonna go. Uh, shit. No, I think that's... Don't worry about it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna... Whoever's going on this side is gonna get fucked. <laughs> Only one came out. What's Whitney Houston's favorite coordination? And I... <laughs> <coughs> what do you call a sugar daddy with HIV? Financial AIDS. We had this band that we met on Warped Tour come out called Audio Crisis, and uh, I signed one of their asses and smacked it. That was very cool. Boca uh, is Chase's hometown, and it was cool to see where True Rock originated. They threw down. It was fun. It was a good one. You want to know what True Rock is? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I think uh, Flight Club, we have um, a knack uh, for if something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong for us. Um, and so one of the, a couple of the times there were two show drops and that really sucked. We were really sad about that. Um, they're both in Florida, of course. Florida loves us. And, uh, but, but, um, we kind of made the best of it. Uh, we went out, um, met some friends out in Naples. Madison, who was in our music video, lives out there. And we went out there and we went to this bar called, um, Fuzzies. Oh. And... Uh, they had two dollar 18 ounce drafts and so we just got up at like noon and went to the bar and drank some beer and played some cornhole. There's a adorable German Shepherd puppy that came out, played with that guy, we went to the beach. I, I got in the ocean in January, the, the beginning of January, and that's just like bonkers to me. So it was cool. It was, it was, it was a good time. Uh, we, we made the best of a bad situation, I think. So, uh, the show tonight got canceled. Uh, pretty bummed about that. Uh, evidently there was a little miscommunication between a lot of people, so... No show. Uh, Sam's trying to figure something out. Yeah, Sam, did you figure anything out? God damn it! Oh, phones can skip. We're gonna uh, find something to do now, I guess. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, fucking move. Coming from the absolute dead cold, 15 degrees, and going to like an 82 degree day in Naples was beyond enjoyable. I really just liked uh, being able to chill on a, on a beach in January. That was really cool. I've only been to Florida a couple times, and definitely never been to a beach where I could wear swim trunks and I go in the water in the middle of January, so that was pretty cool for me. Hey Alexander, it's really nice down here in Florida. Um, 
Charlie is kind of annoying, and he is also pretty short of. <laughs> Let's go see Star Wars. <laughs> my legs! I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my fucking legs anymore, bro. Boy. Weird. Naples, Florida. Got to know drive. Oh, something more. These are homeboys from Baltimore. Check them out. Um, um, got a new record on the way. I'm very excited to hear it. I'm getting ready to bundle up in the back of that van and sleep and sleep really good. So I'm trying to go see the new Star Wars tonight, so what's that? That's cool, man. It has been sweaty, which is tight because it's January. Freeway. Doing some adventuring today in outer space because we're going to see Star Wars and I'm really fucking excited. Not necessarily for the movie, I just really, really like popcorn. I really like popcorn. This is a serious thing. Like, I used to go to the movie theater that was in the mall near my house and I would not even see a movie. Like, I would just park in that parking garage and then on the way out, I would just get popcorn and leave. So that's what I'm excited for. I could care less about this movie. I've already seen it. Like, Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> I was really proud like of my guys, Alex, Charlie, and Tony for with everything we went through, whether it be snow, sickness, or venues canceling. That we all like kept a good attitude and we're all really pleasant to be around. None of us were like bitching each other out for anything stupid. impromptu house show we did in, uh, well, not supposed to be impromptu, that we did in Nashville was really cool. Um, even though it was a little smaller, it was still, like, very warm. <laughs> it's a warm feeling. Just hanging out with Leo was tight. Leo and Stryker and Stella. We're all, we're all very fun. Charlie has to kiss Sam. The last show was mind-blowing and really caught at least me myself off guard because I was expecting to play for the bands and then like five other people maybe and there were like 50 people there. We heard that we were playing a place called Black Cat Burrito so we were assuming it was like a restaurant place and then we realized it didn't start until like music didn't start until 10. So it was going to be a super late show on a Sunday at a burrito place in Boone, North Carolina. And so we were like, well, this is not the best way to end the tour. What's up, guys? We're in Boone, North Carolina at Black Cat. It is unfortunately the last day of tour with Chaser. Unfortunately I'm, cold also. It's fucking yeah, real cold. fucking 15 degrees, right? How are y'all handling that? It's like... It's a, it's a whole other uh, universe, you know? Nothing like Florida. Yeah, no, nothing like Florida. So. It's been a great run, though. I'm, I'm super excited of, like, being able to do this with you guys. Yeah. Every night has been consistently very solid. Oh, man. Uh, Every night. Tonight's yeah. going to be thick. I'm going to try to jump off a balcony for these guys tonight. So we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. We're going to have fun, but we're also going to cry real tears. It'll give me a roller coaster and cry the entire set. Yeah. <laughs> Both ecstatic, but very, very emotional. Get this, get Tommy, get Tommy. Get Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the asshole now, right? Fucking flight club, uh, Chaser, uh, 2018, we Charlie's up in this. The man, bro. <laughs> but then we got there, and people were just fucking filing in, like piling in, and like going crazy for like all the bands and they were they were all about the true rock. It took me by surprise. I was I was really really happy with it. We had like two people crowd surf during our set and like it was a it was a time and a half. Two, 
three. Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. Good times never felt so good, so good, so good, so good. I've been fine, ba ba ba. I miss Chase here. <laughs> Hope they're thinking of me. Like this tour did so much good for for us, but like now I'm just sad because you're gone. I'm upset. You guys are fucking tight. I love you. I hope we play play some shows again soon. Hopefully you come back down to Florida. Hopefully you guys come back to Richard. I fucking love them. They are the best live band we've had the opportunity of playing with pretty much ever in this scene. They're so good and they're gonna go so far and do great things. Because as long as people uh, appreciate, continue to appreciate rock music, then Chaser's gonna be on top one day. All right, it's 3 a.m. I'm full of waffles. I'm very tired. Last night. Very sad day. Very, very sad day. It's been a good day. Matt's here. There's eating. One of those like, we couldn't wait, you know, for this tour to come, and I'm so sad to watch it leave. Yeah. It's been real. Best tour ever. And now. True rock. True rock. True rock. It's been rock in its truest form. <laughs> Chaser is the best band of all time. Yeah. yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. We'll play some new songs in this tour. Some bangers. Hardcore bangers. Kid <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Florida is. Get ready to hit this van. Get ready to nap real hard. Oh, yeah. 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 Y'all ready? <laughs> I'm gonna whip it. See you next time. Thanks, oh, nice, guys. Yeah. This is so fucking good. I miss you guys so I miss much. You too, we definitely gotta do this again soon. Oh, well, I'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah, absolutely, man. When you come visit your girlfriend in April, stop by yeah, us. Absolutely. I'm not ready. I'm not ready either, buddy. I'm not ready. You're the cutest of all of them. 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 They made me understand the power of True Rock, and they've rekindled my fire. Tommy tried to steal the fucking van and the trailer. Fuck Chaser, they're dead to us. We're done. We're done. Yo, my that. beer got thrown out. He owes me a beer. I should have thought about that because me and Tommy both have hopeless record slanders. I don't know Someone why I came up to me and was sooner. like, "Shake your pockets," and I was like, "I didn't even touch them." Tommy. This is how Chaser ruins people. Stuff like this. Thanks, Tommy Ricardo. We're really gonna miss the Fight Club boys, though, yeah, for real. Big time. Yes. They're our brothers now. Definitely. We cannot we wait to play with them again. Rickman. <laughs> Rickman. <laughs> Good luck at Rickman, boys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, fucking no. druggos. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking druggos. Uh, Chaser, I love you guys. You are so amazing. Nicest guys in the fucking world. You're welcome, Richmond, absolutely. Anytime you have a place to stay, no questions asked. And you need to move your asses up here. All four of them, I love them. Ryan, Joe, Tommy, Matt. Coolest fucking four guys ever. I love Matt, too. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> Sam, Sam, I like Sam. Sam's pretty cool. Tony, Tony's pretty all right. He's a lot, he's quieter than the rest, so like, Tony, Tony, Tony doesn't really, there's not much to say about Tony, but like, Charlie, Charlie is just the fucking worst. <laughs> Charlie is the absolute fucking worst. <laughs> uh, someone's getting really excited back there. Sam and Terry, or no, Alex hit the couch real hard if you know what I'm saying. They're feeling each other real <laughs> I can't focus. <laughs> Under these conditions. <laughs> it's a whole album on Spotify. <laughs>
He used to say Sam has it bookmarked. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, putting up with me and uh, allowing me to escape reality for a little while. And I'm getting ready for Alex to throw some shit at me right now because he's picking up my food. <laughs> Huge, yo, huge shout out to Tony. Tony did all the driving on this tour. I slept like a baby in the back every single night, and Tony just like <laughs> cruised and, and drew, oh God, it's like dirty now. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to Tony. He did all the driving. Dude killed it. If there's one thing that I, I could tell them all is to just put on your dicky and gloves. Just, just get back eating them dicks. <laughs> Thanks for not hating me. Thanks for not quitting. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with all the bullshit that came with this tour. Thank you for not giving up on us. You know. Thank you for hustling, being there, and being my friends. I have a lot of thank yous. Okay, first off, uh, Chris and Tim, Big Red Booking. They helped uh, set up a lot of the shows. Um, all the Chaser guys, of course. A uh, special shout out to Matt, I know he set up some of the floor shows. Um, I'd like to thank Leighton Stollard, he designed our poster and two of our merch items. Uh, Liz, obviously, for coming out and making us look good uh, while we're being idiots every day, it's been incredible. Uh, Liz's dad came out to one of the shows from Baltimore and he was in South Carolina, so dude drove, like, what is that, like an eight hour drive? Something? Seven, seven, yeah, seven, like seven, six, seven or eight hour drive. Uh, put us up in like a fat ass hotel that night and uh, even with the chaser dudes come hang out, they didn't have to sleep on somebody's floor and like that was incredible. Um, Ansley let us crash at her house uh, with Leo. Um, that was awesome. And Stryker, the adorable little kitty. Of course, Stella. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Lucas. Yeah. Uh, Louis. Louis. Sorry. Louis. Uh, Wage Wars photographer. Louis. Wage Wars photographer uh, for letting us crash at his place. Anyone who houses this, anyone who like fed us or like bought a t-shirt or took a sticker or CD and like sat through our set and moved like it was all awesome. Kaylee uh, Small Talks helped us out with the uh, South Carolina show. It was awesome. Steven Fisk watched my cat while I was away. That was very, very important to me. Thank you. Thank you, Fisker. Jared Wright for creating the Big Les Show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You're welcome. <laughs>